Welcome back. The Kilted Piper here. Just enjoying some Elizabethan blend today in my Chacon Robusto. So love this pipe. One of my favorites. It is something a little different today. got an email from one of my subscribers the question he needed some advice he has a wedding coming up he's needing some advice for he's wanting to wear a kilt to the wedding he's never wore a kilt before so it wasn't quite sure where to begin. So I'm going to go ahead and answer a couple of the questions that he had in a video just in case anyone else out there is new to wearing guilds or thinking about wearing a guild. Just about out. First question that he had was about kilt pins. What is a kilt pin? What's its purpose? What's it used for? And what type of kilt pin should he use? A kilt pin is a small pin, usually about a half inch wide or so, sometimes maybe an inch wide, three, four inches tall. Usually has like a safety pin on the back side of it that is pinned to the front bottom right edge of your kilt. The apron comes across the front of the kilt right down in the corner. Um, purpose of the kilt pin. I know I'm going to break some hearts here. I'm going to burst some bubbles. Purpose of the kilt pin is purely decoration. It serves no function whatsoever. It does not hold the front of the kilt closed. It does not weigh the front of the kilt down to keep the wind from blowing it up. The sporin does that. The sporin right here on the front of your kilt is what keeps the wind from blowing the front of your kilt up. A little safety pin is not going to do anything. All that is there for is decoration. There was a romanticized story it keeps going around I'm not sure exactly where the story started from there's a couple different uh, versions of it of where it started supposedly Queen of England was out one day inspecting the British troops And while she was inspecting the troops, one of the young soldiers was having problems keeping the front of his kilt down in the wind. So the wind kept raising the front of his kilt up. So the story goes that the queen took a safety pin, fashioned it to the front of the kilt, 
and that held the front of the kilt closed, held it down, and protected the soldier from the embarrassment of his kilt flying up in front of the queen. Very good story. Ain't a bit of truth to it, but it's a very good story. The kilt in question would be a regulation military kilt. 24 ounce spun wool. That is an extremely heavy weight wool kilt. The typical kilt that you see are not that heavy. The kilts that civilians wear, the kilt that I'm wearing now, are 16 ounce. Usually 8 ounce, 12 ounce, 16 ounce. This particular one is 16 ounce. Most of mine are all 16 ounce wool. That was 24 ounce wool. A lot heavier than the normal kilt of today. The addition of a safety pin, the weight of a safety pin on the front of the kilt will do nothing to hold the kilt down in the wind. Now, some people believe that it was used to pin the front of the kilt closed. Kilt is one long piece of fabric. You're in the middle, piece on the right side is brought around to the front, meets over here to the left, and then the side on the left is folded over in front of the other piece, the piece on the right. Okay. This front piece here is called an apron. Apron hangs down in front of you. Pleats are in the back. The front is smooth. Please, if you ever wear a kilt, don't put it on backwards. The pleats go in the back, not the front. Just a little tip. Okay. <laughs> I have seen people put them on backwards. The apron on the front. Some people believe that these two pieces get pinned together down here at the bottom so the wind can't open this up. So I've seen people do that to their kilts. Take the pin, the kilt pin, the safety pin, pin it all the way through both layers of material and pin them together. That will keep the wind from blowing the front of your kilt up. And you're going to find out why we never ever do that as soon as you try sitting down in your kilt and you rip the material, rip the fabric of your kilt and permanently ruin it. The two pieces have to be able to slide across each other as you walk, as you sit, as you're moving around, those pieces have to be able to move. They flex. They have to bow. If you pin them together, they can't. You go to sit down, and you just ripped the front of your kilt apart. Never ever pin the apron to the kilt. Okay. I'll show you real quickly what kilt pin I wear on my kilts. Now today I am wearing the Hume Modern. Uh, in the videos previously I showed you the Hume Ancient or muted colors. This is the Hume Modern tartan. Darker, brighter, more vivid colors. Okay. Now this front piece 
is the apron. This is the apron of the kilt. This base comes across and then this one comes from the left side across the front of it. Down here in the bottom corner is where the tilt pin would go. Let me come down a little bit more here. So your kilt pin would be placed about right here. About four inches in, about four inches up from the bottom is where you'd place your kilt pin. Now as you can see, I have no kilt pin on my kilt. I will never ever put a kilt pin on my kilt. As I said, they serve no function whatsoever. They are there merely for decoration. If you take a look at this video, or excuse me, this photo here, this was a kilt that someone brought to me. Wanted to know if I could repair it. This damage that you see, these pulled threads here, was caused by a kilt pin. When the kilt pin was inserted into the material, it cut or broke one of the threads loose. This damage is permanent. It cannot be repaired. Nothing you can do to this kilt. All you can do is cut that thread off. You will never, this kilt will never be the same again. That made him very unhappy. That damage that you just saw in that photo is why I will never wear a kilt pin. I have seen that time and time again. People bring kilts to me, want me to try to repair them, uh, want my advice on what they should do about it. There's nothing that can be done. You have ruined your kilt. If you can, don't use a kilt pen. There's no need for it. The front of your kilt will not blow open because you don't have a kilt pin on. The kilt pin does not hold the front of your kilt closed. The design of the kilt does that. The weight of the material does that. The friction of the material sliding across itself does that. Also, the sporin, this bag that we wear on the front of our kilts, the sporin, this being here in front of the kilt, keeps the wind from blowing this kilt open. It can't go anywhere. So, if you can, don't wear a kill pin. That's the best thing you could do. If you absolutely must wear a kill pin, try to use the magnetic fastening kill pin. They, I have not seen them sold anywhere. You're going to have to make it yourself. Buy a kill pin, take the pin mechanism off the back of it, attach, use super glue, attach magnets to the back side of it or if you absolutely insist on wearing a kilt pin that has a pin back, be extremely careful when you're in just a minute with a UPS truck going by. If you absolutely insist on wearing a kill pin, be extremely careful when you're applying the pin. Make sure when you're putting the pin in, you go in between the threads. 
don't break one of the threads. Even being as careful as you can be, putting the pin between the threads, there is no guarantee that you're not going to damage your kilt by attaching a pin to it. So keep that in mind and apply a kilt pin at your own risk. If you have any other questions, uh, send me an email to thekiltedpiper at mail.com. Until next time, aloha from Hawaii.